documentary that follows the journey of four gay boys in the Southern Baptist Church as they try to create a world of love and acceptance in the churches and clubs of Dallas, Texas. We go backstage with Michael Bruno to stage Q production of Southern Baptist Sissies at the Bartell Theater. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound in time shall be no more. This is the story of four boys growing up in the Southern Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas, um, coming to terms with their sexuality in a conservative religious setting. Um, some of it not so good. Each of the four boys reacts differently to the realization that he is gay. Because there's only one way to the promised land. It's kind of a retrospective, so you, we, the boys are you know, in their uh, mid-twenties, but they start playing their, their childhood selves as we go and progress throughout um, the show, from their childhood to um, innocent discoveries of their uh, like of other boys, to experimentation, um, to uh, either the rejection of themselves because they're too scared to to anger their God or their idea of God and, and leave their church um, or their embrace of it. Eternal damnation in the burning lake of fire. Well, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth forever, for eternity. That is so long. One is, who is our narrator uh, tries to seek change and try to find an, and create a better world. Oh, please do, because I don't think we got it the first 100 times. God gives us freedom of choice. Wow. So Mark Lee Fuller is in the process of trying to move on and recover from things that he went through growing up, being in a really religious background that doesn't embrace who he is. I was born in Dallas, Texas, the buckle of the Bible Belt. Here at Calvary Baptist Church, my daddy was a deacon. One boy uh, embraces who he is and escapes into a world of drag. He knows who he is, and he's going to be his true self to the T his entire life. Come to Jesus! I want to accept Jesus as my personal Savior. Oh, amen! Another boy fights it and buries it deep. When he starts realizing that he has these feelings and he thinks he might be gay, the world starts to kind of fall apart around him. He gets really scared. I knew that I needed to live my life for Jesus. And I didn't want to go to hell. Did not want to burn in a lake of fire. And one just tries to desperately hold on to hope. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's billed as a comedy on the back of the book. Um, and it, it is very, very funny. But it has those moments that definitely tug at the heartstrings. Um, and it has, there are some, the way that it's written and the way that it's performed, uh, in my opinion, really pull people apart as they're watching it. Um, you have all of these m moments where there's so many moving parts, but they all kind of come together to form a really, really nice picture for the audience to see. And Michael is with us now. Hello, Michael. Hello. It's your birthday week. We gave you the shout out the other day. Yes, you did. Thank you had a great so week. Much. I had a very nice week. It's good to see you. So, who wrote this show? Uh, Del Shores wrote it. He also is, uh, had, did, has done uh, Sorted Lives, which was this, is the first movie that he did. But the two productions were actually stage productions. And uh, my friend Leslie Jordan, uh, who is starred in both these uh, uh, stage plays and the movies, uh, was uh, the, one of the central characters in both these shows. Uh, for sure, audiences only but it's really really a wonderfully written play and it really does the subject matter of these four boys and it follows their lives and how they come to terms with them being gay and how they kind of juggle the, their faith and coming out of the closet and becoming kind of a powerful message yes it is a very powerful message and how they how they come to terms with that and how they how they how they and their 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 parents and and their their other uh, schoolmates and classmates and the other people that are in the Bible studies with them. Is yeah. it singing a la Book of Mormon or is it just no? A it's not a musical. They okay. they have some hymns that they do sing, but it's not it's not really a musical. There are there are some organ and some you know some musical moments in the show, but it's not a musical like Book of Mormon. But they do look like the Book of Mormon. Boys. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> so when is the show? Uh, it is tonight and tomorrow, uh, but I hear that tonight is selling out rather quickly. Okay. And then it's tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Well, right. There it is right there at the Bartell Theater. And coming up next week, you're going to some uncharted territory, Yes, right? we're actually going to Beloit. <laughs> we're going to Beloit to see You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Oh, oh that's classic. a great show. That's <laughs> yeah, a classic. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Michael, thank you. We'll see you next week. Okay.